So here we are in St. James Cemetery in Glastonbury, Connecticut. We're gonna clean this marble monument, uh, probably Vermont marble, three piece, a lower base, an upper base, and a headstone, um, all marble. We have two here side by side. They're both heavily covered with biological activity, growth. We have some lichen, a lot of mold. And so we're gonna take D2, uh, the top cleaning solution for biological growth on a stork stone. Here's a sample size, and this is going to demonstrate that we can use this one little bottle and we can clean the whole, at least front and base of this monument. And um, here's a gallon of D2 right here. And so we're going to take this little spray bottle and we're going to just cover it with the, with the D2, undiluted, and we're just going to spray it right down. And um, usually I use uh, bigger spray bottles, but um, this will show that um, just this sample size will be enough to at least clean the um, inscription area and most of this monument. So spraying along, getting it pretty well covered. And um, we're going to let it sit on here a few minutes. You can see that it's already having some effect. The color's changing a little and um, getting into the pores of the stone and starting to react and act on the growth. So I'm gonna go right down the edges here. And again, it's a little, um, little bigger stone than I'd normally be uh, cleaning with a sample size bottle, but uh, it's working quite well. Now you should always make sure monuments are stable before you um, work on them. And um, you don't want them to accidentally tip over or topple in the process. This monument is solidly connected. It's not leaning at a very big angle and it's just uh, heavily stained. So um, it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna um, just finish this area up here. And uh, just about emptied out this bottle. Come around to the side. It's a little tight to the tree here. And looks like that's, that's about it for this bottle of D2. And uh, it's only a few ounces here. Okay, so we're gonna move along. This sprayer just has water in it. I'm gonna get this ready to go, pump it up. And I have a Marshalltown all-purpose scrub brush here that we also have available at Atlas Preservation. And um, as well as these um, nice little scrapers. So we can wet, wet it down a little more. First, we'll try it with the larger scraper. Try to get the heavy, heavy growth to come right off. These are nice plastic scrapers. They don't hurt the stone at all. They have a nice neutral color, very flexible. What we want is a real flexible scraper and soft plastic. So the plastic wears away, doesn't hurt the stone. Seems to be working really well, taking a lot of the heavy growth away quickly. And um, we're going to move on to a brush pretty quick. Just uh, give this a once over. I'm going to leave that side alone so I don't have to keep walking in front of the camera. We can get that later. I'll just concentrate on a couple sides. So, looking pretty good. Now we're going to give it some more water and take this nice little scrub brush and we're going to start just a light pressure on it. Not much needed at all and look at it just melting away. The natural color on the stone is starting to come back. It looks like a gray marble and maybe a uh, Maybe closer to a white, it's hard to tell with this much staining on it. Now the harder I push, the more abrasion. So if I push lightly, very little uh, effect on the stone overall. You can tell by the pitch of the sound. And also you should use a lot of water, keep it hydrated. The water is a really good lubricant. And it'll make it so that there's less uh, damage to the stone and a better cleaning effect. So it looks like this has been highly successful. The D2 will have a residual effect that it'll take a couple days, it'll be much cleaner, and then a week, and then 
even a month or two down the road, it'll continue to get cleaner and cleaner. So the result we get here right now in five or 10 minutes is going to greatly improve over the course of the next few weeks, especially in months. Looks like I'm running out of water here, so I'm gonna have to stop to refill the sprayer and uh, we'll be back in one minute. Okay, we're Thank back. You. We have a sprayer full of water now, pumped up and ready to go. You can see comparatively the stone that we've worked on versus the stone next to it. Incredible improvement. I'll turn that around. This is our water bottle. And so we're going to come over here now. We're going to hydrate this more. A lot of water. This is just regular old tap water. I've heard some people ask if you need distilled water. Well, every time it rains, the water is not really distilled. So any ordinary tap water will work fine um, as long as it's not like irrigation water or something with heavy heavy metals that could cause staining so we're going to come in here with a lot of water give it a once over i kind of ran out of water before you got to keep pumping these periodically because that's how they that's how they get pressure i'm not going to push hard i'm not going to get carried away trying to get immediate results i'm going to just have a, a very soft even pressure I'm gonna change, it's intent to use circular motion, but break it up a little. You can use figure eights. Um, you can go up and down or back and forth. However, with inscription, it's usually better to clean more evenly with more of a round kind of um, pattern to the uh, brushes. So we're gonna move down to the base now. Again, this is not gonna become completely clean right now. However, it will improve even just as it dries in the next 10 or 20 minutes, um, it'll definitely lighten up. If you come back to this side, come over here, and this is cleaning up quite nicely. You can see this heavy, heavy discoloration. Um, not all gonna come off in one shot immediately. Again, it's uh, very built up. We're under a tree here, and this stone may never have been cleaned ever in 100, uh, whatever years it is old, um, we can check the date on it in a moment. So we'll we're come just back around this here up now, and um, we're just going to give it a little final rinsing, and then we're going to call it call it done for now, and let um, let the D2 work on its own because it's uh, it's pretty well uh, worked its way into the stone, and the uh, the cleaning will continue now um, for the next um, again few weeks to few months as a general rule. We're going to give it a final rinse here. You can see it's kind of uneven. It cleaned more thoroughly up here, and some of this down here is still a little residual. We could try one more treatment, and um, let's give it a few minutes and see how it goes. Maybe we'll do one more application of D2. It works best if you let it dry first, partially, because then it'll absorb more of the cleaner. So um, that's it for now. I hope you liked uh, learning a little bit about cleaning a marble gravestone with V2 Biological Cleaning Solution. Thanks. Have a great day.